1400. Welcome back to Cross Out. Currently working on a pretty interesting build. Uh, I thought, what could I do if I put the track, like two armor tracks, in the center of the vehicle, cover them up like really well defended, uh, put this cab back here. It's on an 8x4. Uh, would it work and what can we do with it? Can we mount it? Can we play with it like in like higher power, power scores? Would it be successful there? Would it be successful in lower ones only? But I mean, you can see that I can actually, it's like very, very maneuverable and it's kind of nice actually. And so I'm going to try to develop this and build upon it and then take it out into some battles and see what we can do. Now, the biggest thing that I think we'll have to probably somehow figure out is uh, if we should use what types of guns we should use. So I'm going to be working on this and then I'll hop into a battle once I get the thing done. Okay, so here it is. I have no idea how this is going to do, specifically because it's at 5,800 power score. That's too high. Uh, and it's because I have a plow on, a 20, auto 25, a 76. Got the truck cabin, got the two tracks, the armor tracks, all of these panelings. Like, just everything adds up, and it's way too high. I wonder if I take these off, if I can maybe do something different. In the front here, maybe something like that. Okay, we lowered it. We lowered it a bit, <laughs> but it's still so high. And I probably should keep it like that, so it's completely defending most of it. I mean, there's layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of stuff in here. And honestly, too, like we probably don't need uh, like that one. But I mean, it's oh, it's not that much power score, so it doesn't really matter. I have a feeling that this thing's going to get blown apart pretty quickly. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think the 25 will last quite a while. The 76 might go. The back is the weakest. And so this should be really interesting to see to see how this plays out. I I'm, I'm so I'm so uncertain and I actually might want to uh, put something right here too over that frame yeah i'm not i mean i'm i'm so un uncertain how this is gonna go there's only one way to know let's get into the battle okay so i had to drop my power score down to 48 44 in order to get into a match i was at 5800 i couldn't get into a match and the way i did that was i took off the 76 so now this thing is just a big giant piece of armor for the for the uh 25 and so I have no idea what it's going to do. I'm so I'm so confu I'm so like disappointed that I couldn't get into a, a match and so confused that I couldn't get into a match cuz I've seen plenty of 5800 people. Man, this thing is kind of hard to control. But I think the tracks being in the center is going to help it stay alive for a long time. I think the only thing I need to be concerned about is the 25 getting shot off too too fast. I got wheels in the back for, um, you know, so it doesn't dip when I turn and stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here how, how it's going to go. Olivia. I mean, we still hit pretty hard with the 25. But I would definitely have liked to have that turreted 76. But it has a 900-some power score, so that's why I was so high. Then it, I mean, I can always try again. Nicholas is running a war rig over here. I can always try again. Uh, after this match to see if I can actually get into a, a battle with with the 76 it's really the only one way to know this guy's running a lot of MG's here it's where the cannon comes into play you can just clip off a ton of a ton of uh, guns at one time with a nice cannon Can hit hit the guy oh that guy's dead well one thing's for sure we're getting shot up and like nothing's happening to us we just got a shot fired at us from I think that ridge line 
This thing is a freaking monster, man. I can't I can't get the power score down anymore without like replacing something or or you know uh risking losing the cabin for the weight or something like that. So there's really like nothing I can do. Okay, there's a guy up here. Could take the train plow off. I'm gonna push this guy right over the edge. Look at that, he did like nothing to me. Wonder if I can go down here. Yeah, that's it. Help me over. Nope! I'm hitting him though. I'm still hitting him. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can still hit the guy. This is great. Oh, we won. Okay, so never do that again. <laughs> we still, we're still hitting the guy. Oh, man. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep battling until I uh, get, like, maybe I'll do another battle and then I'll try to put the 76 back on and see if we can get a higher power score. Because I think, I mean, I think the thing can obviously just, like, withstand tons of damage. It's a giant beast. Um, it is it is risking, you know, being completely ineffective by just having that 25 on there and nothing else. That's kind of a risk, but... I mean, it's it's not really though, because it's so well defended, and that the 25 itself has so much HP. They're really hard to take out. They're huge targets, but they're kind of hard to take out. This guy's looking at me. He's probably like, "What the heck is this thing?" Shooting me, you jerk. Let's see, man. But I'll tell you what, the uh, tracks are crazy. They're so like. Look at this thing. I'm barely putting any input in. Several players. Several people sitting right there. It's kind of where we where a lot of people go. They kind of like camp this camp this area. Dude, I cannot freaking for the life of me. I probably just screwed that guy's shot up. Can't for the life of me control this thing. Is a guy down here? Where you going, man? Is this that same guy from last time? Oh, this guy's so dead. Face is being kept. Keep moving, man. Keep moving. Oh no, that guy's dead. Well, we are just... Oh, my gun's gone! No, I'm completely ineffective now. I'm gonna die. Just shoot my cabin straight up. Dang it! Okay, so they just straight up shot my gun. No problem whatsoever. Dang it! Okay, so I managed to get it under 5,000. Uh, 4981. I've got a hundred. I got a sight. I got two light machine guns, and uh, we'll see what this does. Uh, we basically just have one massive front end thing with tracks for like literally no reason. Now, <laughs> there's really no reason to this entire front part of this vehicle, uh, and it's better that this is attached to the cabin anyway. Uh, you want your, you know, your main guns attached to the cabin, so that way you have more uh, protection, HP. That's not going to get blown off by some piece under here. Even though that's not what happened before, you know, it is uh, something to keep in mind. I could put the 100 down here. Uh, I might, maybe I'll do that. I'll have to think here and figure this out, but this is what I think I'm going to go for. Okay, so it's pretty much proven to me now that uh, if it's under 5k, you can get into a match very easily now the, here's the only problem with this thing is that uh, I don't want to be out in the open I want to be sniping with the thing if we got a sight on here we got the 100 we got two light machine guns and I think we're gonna have a little bit easier of a time maybe oh there's people over here already let's go this way then um, yeah so I think we're gonna have a little bit easier of a time I did put the 
the 100 in, down in the middle. I think that that's just going to be better. I do think, though, <clears throat> that it's a big target. Same with the auto cannon. Not a lot of protection. People can easily shoot it. And so that's pretty much the thing we're going to have to look out for. 800 damage. This guy is dead. Quickly. Can we finish it off with the lights? Finish it off with the lights. Oh, we could have probably killed that guy and saved our teammate. If we would have just shot him. Dang it! It's okay. That guy's got a kind of cool build. I like the look of it. Definitely Mad Max-ish. Mad Max-ish. Okay, so pretty much the number one thing we don't want to have happen is get flanked. We don't want to get flanked. Got people down here. It's good for sniping. I can just get up here to this cliff. Guy right in the base here. 100 should have enough depression. Hit the guy that was really low. Dude, you're getting jacked. We won. Uh, okay, so, I mean, I like the placement of the 100. Uh, the light machine guns are just kind of there for whatever. I do like this better than the auto cannon, though. It just seems to work better. So the one the one thing, though, with the build is that it seems like it's got a lot of unnecessary aspects to it. It's just a big, giant, heavily armored box. But you really can't do that if you want the tracks to be in the center like that, which I've seen some people do... Uh, some stuff similar to this, but you really can't do anything other than that. What does this guy have for those tracks? You you know, you want to protect them. That's kind of what you have to do. Florence rolling out over here. Just going to wait and see if we can pick somebody off that comes flying across. We have to keep in mind the distance and the drop and stuff, especially with the 100. I don't know if anybody's going to come. I think by this time, most people are smart smart enough to know what not to do on certain matches. Where to sit and things like that. I don't think this is a good sniping spot, though. Well, maybe it is, actually. Okay, there's Stan. This isn't too bad. Definitely on the open, though. We might get flanked, too. Down through the buildings. kind of feel like that's what's gonna happen and if, yep there's a guy right there two two guys two guys oh crap two guys coming oh my gosh and I missed yep I'm dead 657. Just keep your gun. Teammate. There we go. Teammate. Here we go. Ah! Four ninety. I might win this engagement. Yes, I did. Sweet. Because he didn't have uh, his gun anymore. The front, man. Look at how much damage we took. Well, we did good. We actually got two kills. We defended our base. And uh, our uh, vehicle su survived. Nice. All right, here we go. So, the, but the only downside about the hundred is uh, the ammo count. You don't get a lot of ammo. Um, you can improve. There's extended ammo box you can get that does help a little bit. You then you can actually stack the other ammo box on top of that. But it's still like, oh crap! It's still got its, you know, it's still got its downfall. In sim in in regard to the ammo amount. I, I always forget to compensate. I, I always feel like it's so, you know, it's just within reach. We don't have to do it that much, but every single time we definitely have to. And I always mess up on those shots. There's a hit. I hit that gun. It's peeking. Probably not. Man, the enemy team is getting annihilated. We're sitting back here sniping. This guy have homing. Whew, my gun is gone. 
What the heck? Oh, I got, all I gotta do is get close to the guy, I think. Stay close to him. He can't hit me, I don't think. Yeah, look at him backing up. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to stay close to me. Oh, he's, he's, he, not anymore though. He's like down, he's like downward. Goodbye, sucker. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I took his guns. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, I was just two wheels. That was awesome. And some light machine guns. He destroyed, man. That's a crazy build. Like rush build right there. Okay, so after some testing, I realized that my gun can get blown off extremely easily from the side because I had no protection. And so I revamped it a bit, took one of the light machine guns off, took some other parts off from around, like in the back there, on a frame underneath, and added in some piping and some shielding, and I hope that that helps. Now, last time we played this match, this map, uh, we had, we got essentially... Oh my gosh, what? Oh, that was... I thought I saw some little tiny bugged out thing, but it was just the, uh... It was just a, uh... Like a glitch, essentially. Last time we played this map, we got rushed. Now, here's the thing. Something I noticed. Sergi Surge, I'm pretty sure, is an AI. Because I fought a Sergi Surge in, uh... In one of the, in like the uh, Leviathan battle, and so, okay, we're probably getting flanked. More than likely, I think that's an AI. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm I'm thinking it is. Oh my gosh, this guy's got a pretty cool build. Very nothing nothing to it really in terms of defense, armor, protection. Just waiting. Someone will come. Tapka. Oh, you didn't, Surge. Who's hitting me? Who's hitting me? From where? I'm not even getting any kind of. I don't see them. They're chameleoned up. They're shooting and then going chameleon. Oh, a track got blown off. Gosh dang it. This guy this guy just lost everything he had. Oh get him! Finish the kill! There's Sergi Surge! Yes! Nice hit there. We still got a track. We're still up. We're still mobile. Dang it! Get wrecked! Red Raccoon with his twins! His dual 76s or 88s or whatever they are. Okay, so I... I b okay, so basically I got shot in the corner enough that I lost the track. Interesting. I'm pretty much out of this fight. Although I do have a wheel and a track left on the opposite side, so I can't control it a little bit. I don't know. I, guys, I, I think the consensus for me after... So much like experimentation is that I don't really I don't really like cannons. I'm not very good with them. I miss a lot of shots. If I took my time and placed my shots better, I could probably get some like better component hits and things like that. But uh, personally, I just don't think that they're the best for me. Okay, here we, here we go. We can do some sniping on this map. Far away sniping. We just got to make sure we don't miss our shots. Just gotta wait for them. Where are they? One guy to the right. There we go. Boom! 600. Nice hit there. That guy went. That guy took took a shot for you, man. You better thank him. Dude, we're about to immobilize this guy. Bam! You got no wheel, man. Dude, this guy just got wrecked. So I got a problem with my sight there. Good for long range, not so much for close range. Dude, we just swarmed that guy. Everyone just attacked that guy. Okay, so we got AI behind me here. Which probably means a player could be coming up here too. 
Just, just Kenneth. What's up, Kenneth? That was a horrible shot, a waste of ammo. So, yeah, I need to get my gun turned sideways so I can use my light machine gun here. He's actually taking me apart. I need to save my ammo for actual players. He's almost dead though. Can I hit whatever that is? There we go. So we messed one guy up crossing the bridge. That was freaking awesome. Looks like we got Brian over there. He's dead. And we got two players left somewhere. Be a player down low. Oh, it's over. Okay, now I'm thinking Sergi Sergi is not an AI because he's listed at the top. What is the deal? Okay, so how do, did he somehow get to play as the Leviathan in the Leviathan battle or something? We definitely fought a guy, a thing named Sergi Surge. He's acting like an he's acting like an AI though. <laughs> he honked at me. He knows it's me. I was talking about him in videos and stuff. I'm telling you, he's an actual person. I'm so confused about him though. This whole situation. Boom, baby! Oh, we, the, pretty much the downfall of this thing is getting flanked. That is the downfall of this build. If I get flanked, I'm dead. Because I have no real, like, like rear defense, defenses. And the thing is so large, it takes forever to turn around. 1400 goodbye gun oh my gosh dude no I want to get this kill dude 1400 damage you can get him Sarah he's probably just gonna go cap now Yeah, that's him, Captain. 1400 damage. That was insane. Huge hit. Oh, that was a waste. I was looking at the wrong reticule. Oh my gosh, I can't I can't control the thing. These big tracks are a pain, man. They are difficult to use. Come on, get around the tree. Base is getting capped here. It's that little dude with that's got like four health left. Keep going, keep going. And turn and blast him! Oh, I'm gonna die. Getting double teamed now. Oh no! Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six guys attacking me just then. Six guys. Man, we 1400 damage. We blasted that guy though. Okay, here we go. I just wanted I just wanted like kill a ton of people in one match. Is that too much to ask for? So okay, so what I've been noticing, the higher up you get in terms of the power score, the more builds you find that are heavy hitting glass cannon rush builds. That they just essentially will like if you're sitting there sniping chances are you're probably going to get flanked because that's what people I mean that's an easy kill right there and if you can get the jump on them you got like thunderbolt shotguns or some big cannon or something like that and you're a lot faster than them then you can probably win the engagement and barely take any damage and since I'm so freaking large and I'm a big massive block it's a uh, definitely even worse for me Boom! From downtown! That's gonna miss. Dang it! I thought I thought I had enough lead time there. It's a guy over to the right here. Dang it! 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 Keep missing these shots. Oh! See? Here we go! Gosh dang it! 
Th and he's got he's got thunderbolts too. Come on, teammate. Shoot. Keep a wide turn here. Glass cannon build, rush build. What did I say? I was just talking about it. And I almost died to him. We win though. We win. That's my I was just saying it. Uh, my point was proven. I did nothing. Okay, here we go. I wonder what people think of me. I'm like this big giant block. They probably think this build is the stupidest build ever. And they're like, dude, who is this guy? Who's this chump? This guy's got a pretty cool build. So it's, it's very compact. He's got 25 in there. Monkovich. The 25 is so good. So good. Chill, man. Go do your Russian thing that you do. Russian? Go do your Russian thing you do. Your rushing. Your rushing thing. This guy is dead. You made it. You had it. You did something wrong, man. You did. You had a. You, you had one thing you could do and you messed up. One. Th one. You had one thing going for you and you screwed it up by rushing. Hey, there's that guy again. We were fighting last time. My sight's gone. Got him. Kill assist. Alright. We're getting... Oh, our base! Oh, no. Guys, the base! Oh, jeez. Same thing happened as last time. They rushed our base this time. Dang it! Okay, here we go. Let's try to make this a good one. Trying to make this the best match yet. Let's try to make this the most amazing map match. Oh, it went right under the guy. Are you kidding me? What the heck happened there? Oh, wow. I am just missing my shots, man. But so is he, luckily. Dude, are you kidding me? We're just going right under him. Took long enough. Oh man. That dude just got annihilated. He shot himself over. <laughs> we only have three shots left, but it was worth it. Dude, that was funny, man. That guy. Oh man. That was too funny. Wow, we totally just screwed ourselves up. We lo we just wasted so much ammo. I gotta get the distance compensation down. It's another reason why I'm probably not the best suited to use cannons. Because I never can compensate correctly. It's been that way in every game I've ever played. Dude, these guys... Do you realize you don't get any XP when you just kept the base? And you don't do anything yourself. You don't get anything. It's probably Sergi Surge. Yep, there he is. Surge! Come on, bro. He's got these insane Thunderbolt melee builds. They're so good. Surge! Leave me- My gun! Why, Surge? I thought we were friends! I thought we were friends. Look at these Thunderbolt builds, man. They're just, they just wreck people. They're so good. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know what you think of the build. Uh, comment below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.